All right, good day, guys. Good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. You guys know the drill already. Knock up like button, subscribe to the channel. Free and easy ways to support the channel and also share the video as well. And as always, man, as always, the support is much appreciated. We we'll try our best over here to give you guys good content. All right, so we're talking about this particular individual on your screen. 22 year old reggae boy by the name of Norman Campbell over there in Serbia. Now, this particular story, the vibe that I get is that it flew over a number of people's heads. It would have, well, it was confirmed during the U20 championship. And I think because of that, it kind of got lost you know, with all of the coverage that was taking place during the U20 championship. I didn't really see this story being talked about anywhere really from what I saw. So we're talking about it right now. It took place a couple of days ago and that is Norman Campbell has made a transfer move to a club by the name of FK Javer Ivan Jika. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a club that just got promoted back to the Serbian first tier. What you're seeing on your screen right now is from the club's website. It, and they, they had an article on their website speaking about a number of new arrivals, one of them being young reggae boy, Norman Campbell. Okay, it says Norman Campbell brings to Ivan Jika the epithet of a representative of his country jamaica as well as a player who played for kukariki in the qualifiers for the conference league last season he is characterized by exceptional speed so he will represent a significant reinforcement in the wing positions the Jamaican winger signed a contract with Javor until 2025. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this particular transfer caught me a bit off guard. Um, Norman Campbell was at Kukariki last season, and that was a contract that would have run from 2021 to 2024. He has only been there one season, and it was kind of a bit surprising to see him leave so quickly. Um, it seems to, from what is being reported, it's a free transfer. So if it's a free transfer, common sense tells us that the agreement between him and Kukariki must have been terminated. More than, well, obviously by mutual consent, right? That is just what this situation, given the facts that we know, is implying. So it's a little bit surprising that his contractual arrangement at Kukariki came to an end. It's a free transfer to FK Javor Ivan Jika from what is being reported by credible sources. And he will be, he, he has signed a contract until 2025. Um, this particular club is based in the city. Well, it's not a city really, it's a town of Ivan Jika in Serbia, a relatively small town over there in Serbia. You're seeing the pictures on your screen right now. Nice looking town, small looking town over there in Serbia. And the club plays in a very small stadium, a stadium by the name of the Stadion. Kraj Moravica. So it's a 3,000 seater stadium, ladies and gentlemen. A very small stadium in a very small town. And the pictures of this stadium is on your screen. If you guys are looking on your screen, I am showing the pictures of the stadium on your screen. It's not really a stadium though. You wouldn't call it a stadium. It's more of a park. I don't think this is big enough to be classified as a 
stadium, right? This particular club has only ever won one title, and it is the Serbian Second Division. They won it over a decade ago. Right? So, just continuing to give you guys a rundown on this particular club. You see Norman Campbell there at the presentation. And, he, you know, you see the picture on your screen and the club badge and the club name, etc. This is him being presented with some of the other new arrivals in Serbia. Now, as I stated, this club just got promotion back to the Serbian first year last season they would have finished second in the third no like they would have finished third rather in the Serbian second tier so they were in the second tier for a season last season and they came third and won the playoffs and got promoted back to the Serbian first year so the 2021-2022 season they finished third in the second tier won the playoffs got promoted the 2020-2021 season they finished 16th in the serbian first year which have which would have gotten them relegated right they finished 13th in the 2019 2020 season and that was in the serbian first year as well and that was their first season back from the second tier which they were in the season before in the 2018-2019 season Right, they finished second in the Serbian second tier in that particular season and gained promotion. 2017-2018, they were in the Serbian first tier, finished 14. 2016-2017, in the Serbian first tier, they finished 8. 2015-2016, they finished 9. 2014-2015, second in the Serbian second tier. And... 2013 2014 they finished 15 and 2012 2013 they finished 10. both those two years were in the serbian first year so in the last 10 seasons three of those seasons were played in the serbian second tier it's a club that they don't stay too long in the second tier whenever they get relegated they usually make a speedy return judging by it the history so they don't spend long in the second tier and it's a club that is not as prolific as the club that he's coming from Norman Campbell was at Kukariki and Kukariki usually usually plays in the top three most of the times in the last number of years Kukariki has finished third third seems to be their ceiling but nonetheless it's a top three finish so not a club as prolific as the club that he is coming from this for me would be a very good move if he does get a lot of game time i think that could be a, a factor here i mean he didn't really get a lot of game time for one of the top clubs in in serbia last season right he would have played nine games out of 30 possible games in the serbian regular season in the championship round because this is one of those leagues where you have a championship round to decide the winner in the championship round he played four out of seven games so overall in the serbian league he played 13 games out of 37 in the uefa conference league qualifiers that Kukariki was involved in in the earlier stages of last season he played four out of all four games so he was heavily involved in that and of the one game that Kukariki played in the cup Norman Campbell did not feature overall he would have played 17 games in 41 For the two rather, for the two possible, for the two games that Kukariki would have played in official competition, he only would have featured in 17 of those games. So that's not bad, but that's not great either. He only made three starts in the Serbian league out of all the 30 odd games that would have been played in the Serbian league. 
So, you know, clearly this is a player that would have needed game time. Um, as I said earlier in the video, I was a little bit surprised because he's a young player. So I thought that gradually, as the seasons go by in Kukariki, he would feature more and more and more. There were also unconfirmed reports that this particular player had injuries. As I said, you know, had a couple of injuries last season that would have ruled him out for some games. As I said, that is unconfirmed reports, right? So take that with a grain of salt, so to speak. But yeah, I'm a little bit surprised given he's a young player, his first season in the Serbian first year. I didn't expect it to end so abruptly at Kukariki. I thought he did enough to deserve another season. But, you know, I don't know if Kukariki wanted to move him on or he would have approached them and said, look, it's not really working out. You guys are one of the top clubs and I'm not getting a lot of game time. So I need to make a move. Either ways, you know, surprisingly, he's out of there and he has made his move to this recently promoted club. I will say this much though. In the championship round, which is obviously big games, last season for Kukariki, he featured in four out of the seven games in the championship round, in the in the championship playoffs, so to speak. That's a lot of games to feature in, four out of seven. And in the UEFA Conference League qualifiers, he featured in four out of four games. So all four games Kukariki played in the Conference League qualifiers, he featured in all four of them. And I remember doing watch-alongs to two of those games against Hammarby, the first leg and the second leg that they got knocked out in. He made substitute appearances in both those games and to be honest he played he played well especially in the second leg when he got a lot of games i think if memory serves right he came on relatively early in the second half like 60 or 70 minutes off the top of my head he got a good run out though like close to like half an hour right and he in injected a lot of energy and a lot of pace and he was a very good outlet down the right flank in that particular game against Hammarby and did very well in the game. So judging by the fact that he featured heavily in the more important stages of Kukariki's season last season, it's a bit surprising that he didn't get more game time in the regular season. He only featured nine times out of 30 games in the regular season. Season. And from the performances that I saw of Norman Campbell in last in last season in Serbia, he looked he looked okay to me, relatively speaking to the amount of game time that he got. He didn't get a lot of game time. A lot of them were late substitute appearances, 10-15 minute runouts. But I watched quite a number of those performances, and he did okay to me as well as he could have given the amount of game time that he got. He scored no goals at Kukariki last season, no assists either. So, yeah, that's Norman Campbell for you. That is, that's a brief summary of his performance last season in Serbia from the performances that I would have seen. We wish Norman Campbell all the best. One would like to think that there's more than likely something, I mean, a good agent would negotiate something where he would you know get game time you know there's those clauses in the contract that would allow for a player to get a certain amount of game time so hopefully that is in place where he can feature far more he needs more game time that's for sure and hopefully we'll see a lot of him at this new club that he has gone to and hopefully the player does well he has a good agent you know Kevin Cohen from International Dimension. Very good agent with a proven track record. So he definitely knows what he is doing. So guys, that's my two cents on Norman Campbell's recent move to FK Javor, Ivan Jika. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Smash like button and until next time.